So why am I quitting? Why am I making this video? Why is this place such a mess? Why, when everything is going so well in my career, would I decide to do something so crazy? I don't know, maybe I'm stupid. It seems like the right thing to do. My wife and I have been talking about this for a while. With being able to make some money on YouTube and also having a good amount of money saved up, from selling our home and selling our car and just investments, we've realized that we may never have this opportunity again. Coffee's ready. But that's where things get complicated, right? Because I have a YouTube channel trying to talk everyone into becoming a developer and land this sweet dream job. Yet, here I am telling you I'm going to quit my job and become a full-time YouTuber and travel the world while trying to sell you the dream of being a developer. You're a phony! This guy's a great big phony! Where was I? So I'm quitting my job. Yeah, that's right. Uh, my last day is Friday. Came at a bad time for my team and I do feel bad. We were building up the team. We were interviewing other developers and things were going great. When I took this job, my YouTube channel hadn't taken off yet. It was in the process of gaining a lot of traction. Since the beginning of this year, I've gained 100,000 subscribers. I'm not making a boatload of money because I'm not doing a bunch of sponsored videos. I'm not selling anything except for the little resume that I have linked in my channel and I'm building a little bit of merch right now. Ah, that's right. This is a prototype. I got another prototype over here that you may have seen in another video. I paid a designer to do some of this. I also got some t-shirts. I actually tweaked this one a bit myself because if you look closely you'll see that there's kind of like some weird threading there and that's because the original logo had like a permanent marker like almost dry so it had streaks in it and it didn't look good when it print on the man store turned it into an embroidered logo. So then I, I tweaked it myself with my sweet new iPad, which is kind of cool because um, I always enjoyed doing stuff like that, but I, I never really got to, but it is fun. And, and you know, that's where a lot of this is coming from. My wife and I are very bored. We feel like we've been doing the same thing for the last few years. And even though we've lived the American dream, we've owned a couple houses, we got no debt, we have the kids and the dog and the white picket fence and all that it feels so boring. And it feels that if this is the rest of our lives, this isn't what we want. So after talking for a while with her and really trying to figure things out, we threw around the idea of traveling a bit and checking out Europe and going to Portugal, Spain, Italy, France, the UK, Germany, all these places. We have a long list and we have an itinerary plan and we've got tickets bought and paid for. We're heading out at the beginning of next month. And it's pretty nuts to think that we're actually doing this. I'm honestly terrified because this is a huge move and I'm giving up stability. I'm giving up a great job. I'm giving up all the things that I thought I really wanted when I set out to learn how to code. And before this becomes a video about someone who makes too much money and is unhappy and wants to find his purpose in life, you as a viewer probably feel that I may have deceived you. <laughs> Talk about learning how to code, but I really don't want to work as a programmer anymore. You're a great big phony, you know that? I love programming. I love the joy that I get when I spin up a personal project and I start building something for myself. I love tinkering and learning new things. I really, really enjoy building stuff. What I found that I didn't enjoy about working as a developer is that a lot of that stuff isn't there. When you work as a developer, you really just become a cog in a wheel and you're there just to up conversion rates or build new features for business. And there's not a lot of creativity involved. I've worked for Fortune 500 companies. I've worked for marketing departments. All of that work has always felt kind of empty. But then I have this thing on the side that I started because I wanted to make a little extra money while being able to help people and share my story. And this thing has grown to become a massive channel. And yeah, it's not a million subscribers, but it is a big audience. And having this big audience now really made me start reevaluating what am I doing with my life and what is my purpose, right? 
all that cheesy you always hear. And when I got to thinking about it, I was thinking, man, my day job that I commit so much time to every single day, and sometimes I even commit time afterwards because there's problems that are on my mind and things that I need to learn and things that I'm, I'm like reading up on outside of work in order to make sure that I'm a good programmer, just trying to like stay in the loop on things that are going on within my industry. The more I thought about it, the more I realized that I don't think that this is bringing enough value to me. It's bringing me a paycheck, but outside of that, there was nothing. And then on the other end, I have YouTube where I see the comments and I'm seeing that I am having a positive impact on people and I'm seeing that I'm helping people. And that's when I kind of had the epiphany of like, so I go through these thousands of lines of code and uh, it doesn't really matter. I, uh, I don't like my job and uh, I don't think I'm gonna go anymore. I realize now that in order to figure out what it is I want, I need to step away from what it is I do every day and start exploring my options and start doing the things that I tell a lot of people on this channel to do, which is look into freelancing, start building some stuff on my own, look into creating more content, start coaching and mentoring. That's something that I've wanted to do for a while, but I just don't have the time. I work a full-time job as a developer and after work, I hang out with my family and the little bit of time in between there used to go to jujitsu and hobbies and then I started focusing on YouTube. I'm like trying to do all these things at once and then I started to think well why am I doing all these things and what is it that I really want from this in order to accomplish the goal on one side I have to give up the thing I have on the other side take the leap of faith and hopefully everything works out and start doing all the things that I say that I want to do the things that I tell people to do the things that I do believe will bring me more joy and more value than just working a job every day for the rest of my life so now that I'm done bitching about my job I want to just tell you what you can expect from my channel and my other channels and from me and, and what I plan on doing more of just me like sharing my stories and things that I've done to improve my life improve my health improve my money self-improvement and personal stuff overall I do want to bring you guys value so I'm gonna look into figuring out my schedule and maybe set up coaching coaching mentoring resume reviewing and all that stuff that seems to be something that could be beneficial to people and can help me supplement my income while I decide to build other things With that said thanks for watching thanks for your continued support thanks for 150,000 subscribers I still can't believe how many people watch my videos it's pretty insane and I hope that I am able to continue bringing you value and I just hope that all the stuff that I share here is beneficial and helps you achieve what you're trying to do by learning how to code. The screensaver just kicked on. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching.